Well, hello everybody out there. I hope you can hear me very well. <clears throat> Excuse me. I know my prick, my pick, my prick. My picture is probably a lot brighter than what I'd rather it have it be, but uh, I'm not able to adjust it really very well right now. So if you can bear with me a little bit, um, <clears throat> there's something I'd, I'd excuse the mess. Uh, but uh, I've got to talk about these suicides that's going on. Uh, uh, I've never really seen such a rash of um, of these occurrences, you know. Uh, and I don't know what's happening. It's very confusing. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I kind of have a little bit of a you know, drip and all that stuff. The weather change and all that. So. If you'll excuse me for that, I appreciate it. Anyway, um, <clears throat> I'm probably going to wind up doing that a lot. Uh, um, 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 this isn't meant to be a comedy video because uh, I'm really serious about what I'm talking about. Um, it's very sad to see young men, really mainly young men, uh, who are committing suicide because of their sexuality. I think it's very sad. Um, it's shameful because it shouldn't be happening. I don't know why these young men are doing what they're doing because, you know, it isn't as bad as it seems. And I hope that I wish I could promote this video that way maybe I could reach a few of these young guys that are committing suicide. There is no need to commit suicide. It is not that bad because you are what you are. You know, don't cut your life short because of the fact that you're gay. Uh, you know, that's, that's part of your life. You know, if you can't talk to, you know, uh, your parents or your friends, there are support groups in place that are even, some are even anonymous that you can talk to people and they will help you deal with your, sec your sexual preference. You know, um, there's no shame in what you are. And I can't stress that enough. <clears throat> there are people out there that will love you regardless of what you are. I guarantee it. You know, and I'm not talking about people that just want to have sex with you or anything. I'm talking about people that really will invest time and and care about you. So all I'm saying is don't make that mistake of thinking that you need to kill yourself because of what you are. If you're gay, you're gay. And that's all there is to it. And you're going to be gay for the rest of your life. So you can't really change that either. And I've known people that have tried to change that. As I was saying before I was interrupted, um, you know, I myself would like to become more involved with um, anti-bullying and, uh, you know, any type of movement that would help or... or um, assist um, you know young people who are dealing with these problems because I believe in my heart that there should be more of these programs in public schools private schools um, because this type of behavior should really come to an end it you know this is 2010 and I really believe that there should be more um, assistance available to young people, um, even even if it's anonymous, you know, uh, to help these people deal with these kind of issues. And I hope I'm not sounding I'm not, I don't want to sound redundant or repetitive, but you know I I just believe that this kind of stuff should not shouldn't exist any longer. You know, uh, it should not be happening. Um, but, like I said though, you know, I would like to make myself available to anybody who needs to talk or 
uh, is having problems uh, dealing with either family or friends and I guarantee you you know if you've got best friends and they can't accept you for who you are then they're not your friends period and that's all there is to it um, If, and if your family is having difficulty dealing with it, then you know you're going to have to make decisions along the way that you know that probably aren't going to be very pleasant. But in the end, um, it might be necessary. You know, so that's the most that's the, probably the most difficult part of dealing with this is probably dealing with family. Um, because these are the people that you have to live with when you're young, so, you know, um, I just hope that, uh, that you'll be able to find some measure of peace with your life, um, and that most, the highest thing of all, the most important thing of all is ha being happy. You've got to be comfortable with who you are, and you've got to figure out a way to make yourself happy in dealing with this, these issues. Uh, I don't recommend going out and having a, a sex fest, you know, because this is not the 60s, you know, this is, there's a lot of dangerous things out there and uh, you don't want to endanger your health. So, um, like I said, I myself am offering, I'm extending a hand, you know, out of friendship and concern to anybody who feels like they need to speak about their problems or if they just need somebody to talk to, I'm there. I'd be more than happy to discuss things with you because I've been down the road that you're going on and it's, it's a bumpy damn road and there's always, you keep going uphill all the time and as soon as you get to, top, get to the top of that hill then there's another hill in the distance to, to to climb, so it's not a pleasant journey, and it's not easy. But it's like the people are saying, it does get better. So I'm going to end that. I'm going to I'm going to end this on that note. It does get better, and you know, enjoy life, enjoy your life, and try to make the best of it that you can. So, thanks for watching and take care of yourselves.